Hey y'all, it's Gemini Jazz with House of Chiron, and I'm just here for the good news, honey. We are back with another episode of Galactic Gossip. So, we have a really big week, okay, and we have quite a few things that are going down in the sky, right? So, let's just go ahead and get into it because we got a few things to talk about. So first and foremost, at the beginning of the week, we do have Mars moving into the sign of Scorpio. Now in ancient astrology, Mars once upon a time ruled Scorpio. So technically it's still ruled by Scorpio. And this is before they found Pluto. Now Pluto is the sole ruler of Scorpio. But before then it was ruled by Mars and Mars and Pluto have similar characteristics. Um, similar, not the same, but, um, you know, the passion and the sexual energy that comes along with Mars as well as Pluto, that's kind of those aspects that they share. But um, Mars is more action oriented. So with Mars moving into the sign of Scorpio, we can expect to have um, this energy where we are now being able to take action on our desires because being that it's in one of its ruling signs scorpio it is going to intensify if not exalt those energies that comes along with scorpio which is deep passion desires so on and so forth so also with that um we will have more of a um laser focus on getting things done because as i said mars is more about action taking action move making the initiative getting things done it's very um it's a very physical planet and you know that's why mars is ruled on two it's ruled by or mars rules tuesday and so that's why they say it's a great day to go work out on tuesday because you have that built up energy to exert right so Mars is all about that action and it's very passionate so we can expect to also be very passionate in our pursuits and there could also be an increase in sexual expression as well as sexual pursuits so how we are going to express our sexual passions now as being in Scorpio we can be diving really deep and dark into those areas honey it's fine um yeah we're just gonna let that be but all of this action oriented stuff that we have coming with mars moving into the sign of scorpio is coming right on time because the middle of the week we have mercury station to go direct it's been in retrograde for the last three weeks um and now it's going to be going direct, but it will still be in the shadow phase until December 7th. I'm cool with the shadows, the shadow phase. You should be good with the shadow phase. It is now time for us to start taking action on those things that we have been planning this entire time. And with that, we have been taking stock of what we have been planning, taking stock of the things that we need to make changes to and the things that we have you know, reviewed, refined, reassessed, reevaluated, and now we are going to put forth an action once it stations direct on the 20th, Mercury becomes visible on the 21st. So we will now be able to move forward, not only with the things that we have now made changes to and analyze and reassess, we now have the energy of Mars and Scorpio backing us up to help us push forward, right? move through these things that we want to get done so that's also something to keep in mind so we do have um on the 22nd the sun is moving into sagittarius so sagittarius season is upon us coming up really soon so happy solar return to all you sagittarius out there i love y'all y'all are my um direct opposition my polar opposites i'm a gemini sag and gemini's polar opposites so what's good happy solar return and um let's see with sagittarius season i will be coming out with a 
um, Sag season focus. So it'll be what we need to focus on, setting our intentions for the season. We have a few things that are going down between now um, and Capricorn season before Capricorn season happens. We have um, more planets stationing to go direct and we will talk about that next week. I will also include that in my information for Sagittarius season that I'll be posting later this week as well. So keep watching that. Um, now getting into something that's more auspicious this week, something that's very benefic for all of us, very beneficial energy that's happening at the end of this week, we have into the weekend, we have Venus and Jupiter in a conjunction at the Galactic Center. So I made a uh, post about this on my Twitter this week about the Galactic Center. Um, it is basically the center of the galaxy, center of the Milky Way. It's what a lot of the scientists say is the, the black hole. They see it as the black hole. Well, Venus and Jupiter are both going to be conjunct at the galactic center. So this is where a lot of the energy and the frequency is very heightened, right? Venus is the planet of love, the planet of partnerships, business, money, the possessions, everything that we possess. Um, and speaking with my friend Chanel, who also has helped me learn a lot of my astrology stuff, she was explaining to me that Venus just doesn't rule what we possess on the surface level. We, it's what we rule on every facet, um, and what we possess on every facet, right? So what we possess within ourselves, the beliefs that we possess, the finances, the, the material possessions, the values that we possess, it's everything that we feel that we own, that we hoard within ourselves, things that we take value and take stock of. That's what I mean by Venus and the possessions and that it rules what we possess, you know, our possessions, our values, money, business, um, all the sensual things as well, touch, taste, smell, hear, sight. Um, so with Venus being in conjunct with Jupiter, Jupiter is all about the higher mind. It's about philosophies and beliefs and expansion and travel and long distance travel and so on and so forth, teachings and whatnot. Um, these two being in a conjunction, meaning that they are going to be together at the galactic center. So these energies are going to be heightened, right? And um, the this is also the galactic center is also associated with divinity the divine power right and this is going to bring and enhance to our consciousness it's going to help uh, um, help us all become more aware of where we are where we're going um so you can expect to see you know receive downloads and receive just aha moments and insights to things that you have once been dumbfounded on um this is very spiritual, very auspicious, as I mentioned before. So this is happening this weekend, this coming weekend. So this is going to be very beneficial for all of us, depending on where this energy is happening in your chart. And once again, if you need any analysis on that, hit your girl up. Um, so with Venus conjunct Jupiter, uh, this always brings... Um, gifts. Venus conjunct Jupiter always gives us and awards us gifts. So say for instance, if you have Venus conjunct Jupiter, um, Venus will be in the sign of Sag Venus in the sign of Sagittarius as well as Jupiter is in the sign of Sagittarius. So say if you have, um, for instance, I have Sagittarius in my eighth house of um, relationships, marriage, other people's money, possessions, how I make money, things like that. If I have Sagittarius and if Venus and Jupiter are conjunct in my eighth house, I can expect some type of gift from the universe regarding those energies, how I make money, other people's money. Um, that's basically how I obtain money through other people, right? And um, also partnerships, relationships, those deep, intimate relationships. I could be receiving some type of gift or some kind of insight or knowledge or some kind of consciousness, awareness regarding these eighth house energies, these, um, or even ninth house energies. Um, since I am in school for psychology, I could be receiving a gift regarding that. I could possibly um, have some type of award come through from schooling, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure y'all following along. So depending on where this energy is happening in your birth chart, 
You can expect to receive a gift and or some type of insight. So gifts don't necessarily have to manifest in material form, tangible. They could also manifest inwardly. They can also manifest um, um, on an internal level where you receive some type of gift internally, where you are um, no longer cloudy or foggy on certain things, or you have now come to this aha moment regarding something that you need healing on or something you need an understanding on. And with this energy with Venus and Jupiter conjunct, it can most definitely award you that you have been seeking or that you have been needing or have been foggy and not so clear on. Um, we do have, um, and I didn't write this down, we do have, I believe on Sunday, we have Mars in Scorpio making an opposition to Uranus and Taurus. So that could bring a little tension. Um, it's making an opposition. Oppositions can bring tension. They can bring things. But like I mentioned always, nothing happens to us. Everything happens for us, right? So with um, this Mars and Scorpio opposition to uh, Uranus and Taurus. So this could be some type of tension and friction regarding something that has been shaking up regards to your values, your possessions, um, the things that you are seeking. Something could kind of, it's kind of like maybe a possible tower moment in your business where something has to um, be shaken up in order for some change to make, in order for you to actually take action on making that change and doing things differently. Um, and as I mentioned before, it all depends on where exactly this energy is happening in your chart. I have Uranus um, transiting my, uh, my first house. And so that's my identity. So something regarding my identity. It's not a coincidence that I had dyed my hair blue and purple. Uranus brings unpredictability, right? You can't see the blue right now, but you get the point. It's blue. And clearly you can see the purple back there. But um, Uranus is transcending my first house of my identity. And so that's just an example of what that energy can bring when Uranus is transiting um, and is transiting Venus. And Venus just happens to be there. Um, so that's all about, you know, appearance as well. But if you have Uranus transiting Venus, just say, for instance, in your second house, right? And that's um, the ruling house of Taurus. And you are, you have a business. You could possibly experience some type of unpredictable shakeup or something that changes abruptly that forces you to make quick action. Um, but as I always mention, don't react, respond. Reaction requires absolutely no thought. Response requires thought. So take a time to breathe and think through it before you actually make a decision to respond or react in a certain type of way um, regarding any of this energy with Uranus and Taurus in opposition with Mars and Scorpio. So... That is all that I have for now. We do have some really good energy. And if you need any help understanding where all of this is happening in your chart this week, um, please hit me up. Y'all know where to find me. The link is in my bio, my website, my blog, all of my information, my YouTube, everything is there in my bio. And happy soul return to all you Sagittarius out there. It's gonna be a really good week, especially if your birthday is this week. It's going to be a really good week because your birthday is happening the week of the Galactic Center and all of this grand energy is happening. So y'all going to be turned. I know how you Sagittarius people are. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful week and I hope this has been helpful. Please leave a comment and all the good things. Bye.